Welcome back to another exciting Land to House vlog. I hope this week is going to be full of fun and adventure. As you can tell, the quality may be a little bit better in this video, and hopefully the audio as well. I'm testing out Ashley's Canon G7X Mark II, which you can see in this reflection here. <laughs> uh, a few things that I would like to mention first off. I just got some half-inch OSB that I would like to... Well, here's my thoughts. My friend that's helped me out so much with the workshop gave me some... Well, didn't give me. She sold me some... Hey, guys. Hey. Hey, guys. Shh. 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 <laughs> Those dogs. Um, the backing that goes on uh, furniture, it's that really thin stuff. She sold it to me for $2 a piece, uh, eight by four sheet. So I've got a good bit of it. So my thought was, why not use some half inch OSB as the backing on my, uh, my walls and then come back later with that more decorative um, panel on front. Now, if this is nice enough, I may just paint it and have it good, but I think I'm gonna need to put that paneling on there to make it really nice and polished. Other than that, I bought some more pipe for ram pump tanks. And then in here, let's see how the low light settings are on this camera. Nice. Okay, uh, I bought some PVC pipe to go on the water storage that I'm gonna be installing soon with those barrels right there. And then also, I got two different size. I got uh, three quarter and half inch uh, components here to start testing out various U-siphon ideas. I had maybe four or five ideas I'd like to give a try. And so I'm going to be uh, doing that this week if uh, everything goes well. So that's kind of the ideas that I have at the moment. It's time to venture to a place that I have not been in in over a year. Hopefully you don't find any bugs in here. I've got the uh, toilet place for the tiny house. And uh, well, in here there should be a bucket that I can use for my U-siphon experiments. Yeah, we're gonna find out if I left one in here or not. That makes a good tight seal. Huh, no bucket. Well, let's go inside here and see if there's one in there. Ugh. At least I know there's a nice tight seal keeping the bugs out of this place. Okay. Ugh. For some reason I thought I had left a bucket in there, but apparently not. So let's head inside the tiny house and see what we can find. Lots of junk, that's for sure. No, 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 hmm. Well, I guess somewhere I used up all of my buckets. Oh, I think I remember now. Whenever the house was being installed, I had some buckets that I brought from here and put some of the leftover sand in from the build. And one of the construction workers poured out my sand and used the bucket for something. So before I can do that project with the U-siphon, I'm gonna have to go purchase a bucket to put holes in. <laughs> oh well, uh, let's see. So last time, whenever I was doing this uh, testing with the U-siphon, I probably used up 30 to 40 gallons of water. <coughs> and I wasted it, in my opinion. I mean, besides learning some great facts about the U-siphon. So that being said, this time I'm going to fill up my water storage tanks from the creek using the ram pump. And that way, it doesn't matter how many gallons I use, eventually it's gonna find its way back to the creek. So I'm gonna go crank up the ram pump down here and get those uh, storage tanks filled so that 
a couple days from now, we can do some testing with the U-Siphon. I'm never excited to see these start growing back up again. Hateful little sticker plants. I think they're called Multiflora Rose. But anyway, let's see what we can do here. Ah. We had a massive rain, and I think it got some pretty decent mud into the ram pump here, as you can see. I better go ahead and drain some of that out. Oh yeah, look at that. Lots of silt and sediment building up in there. I worked legs at the gym yesterday, and I am sore. This hill is kicking me pretty good. So my longtime friend and subscriber, Mike Collinson, has a ram pump set up, and his storage tanks uh, have the inlet and the outlet at the same place. Uh, for instance, I'm filling the tanks right now through the bottom of the tank, and since atmospheric pressure is the same, no matter how big the water uh, diameter is, um, it'll lift. So uh, I'm thinking about using his design for my um, storage tanks when I actually decide to get them permanently installed. So a garden hose or a, a pipe will come up to a T and fill from the bottom and then T off to wherever I want my um, water to go to. And so anyway, I'm going to let these fill up for uh, probably two days at least. Uh, I mean, they'll be full in shorter time than that, but uh, I use these for the U-Siphon test so that all the water is uh, from here, not from the well. It's a rather warm day out today, and so I've got Emma with me. She's uh, looking pretty chill at the moment. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought that she and I would just go for a little walk outside. Um, it's cloudy, the sun's kind of behind the hill. So there's no uh, chance of a sunburn at the moment. She's so cute. Ashley and I are about to go on a hot date to watch Beauty and the Beast. And so Emma is going to go to see her Nana. <clears throat> Look how cute she is today. Hello. You're going to go see your Nana today. She's got her Nana and me love shirt on and blue jeans. So this is really going to be the first time she's been away from Ashley for this length of time. We hope it goes well. We hope so. Uh-oh. You're going to miss Mama, aren't you? That's bright. Something tells me this is going to be a long vlog this week because I'm enjoying using this camera. I found my buckets. Uh, <laughs> I put them back here and they've collected a lot of water. So I guess I'm going to use this one. Uh, need to dump it out up here. There we go. So with the workshop build videos, you may have noticed they've kind of turned into um, just little projects with possibly even a review, such as uh, this amazing light up here. And uh, that's because I've done so much here on the build and I'm at a point now where there's not a lot of new content. So today I spent some time getting this wall over here covered in insulation. And then, uh, like I said before, I bought this uh, OSB. And that's because I'm gonna be testing out that um, cross level and using this section to, um, to, to test that out. So, uh, but anyway, I wanted to say that I'm still building out here and I do intend on um, getting back to the actual build videos before long. I just, uh, you know, uh, I don't have a lot of money to spend on this at the moment. Also, sneak peek, I started working more on the river pump, which is over here. And as you can see, it is coming along nicely. What else did I do today? I'm about to review the 
X Dragon solar powered charger. As you can see here, it opens up, and on the back, it's got an LED light, which is pretty cool. And then on the side is the main reason you get this, and that's for the charging ports. So, uh, that's what I'm about to do now. And then, somewhere around here, there it is, I've got a plane that I'm going to be attempting to get Ashley's bookcases uh, planed here and uh, get working on those because she's been wanting to get her books put up and also I want to get uh, my books put up so I have to have her bookshelf. Anyway, that's what I've been doing today. Uh, tomorrow I hope to work a little bit more on the river pump and also start doing my next U-Siphon videos which people seem to have been very interested in here lately. Ashley and I just took Emma to the grocery store where she used to work and may return to soon. And uh, while we were there, the bakery gave me one of their buckets, which is awesome, since we we're about to start the U siphon test. And I also bought some more um, pipes and stuff. Uh, I got some 3 8 inch, thinking maybe we could even try a really small U siphon. So, um, got that. But let's take the bucket into the workshop here and put a couple of holes in the bottom to begin the test today. I figured that I would keep that bigger bucket for a future project and uh, just use this one. So the Unisil for three quarter inch and half inch use a one and a quarter uh, hole saw. And so I'm gonna put holes in the bottom down here and uh, I'll have to cap one of these whenever I'm using the other one. So that's what I'm gonna do real quick. I just got the bucket ready for the U-Siphon. As you can see, I've got the two different sizes in there. And I'm gonna have to uh, find a different component here, but I'd like to do a 3 8 inch also to see how well that works. And um, so anyway, I'm gonna use this for the test. There's gonna be several different uh, modes going on, at least four, and uh, hopefully, well, I guess five if I include that one. So that should be uh, a fun little test that's gonna happen um, here in just a bit. Um, one of the main reasons I started thinking about um, doing some more tests with this bucket is because my two other U-Siphon videos are doing better than my queen-size bed video, which is hard to believe because that one's been my flagship video for uh, a year now. Um, so anyway, I guess people are getting into the hydroponics gardening mode, and that's why these are becoming... Uh, more popular at the moment. Sometimes I like to film while driving in the car, so I thought might as well test it out here. The GoPro always had an issue with the car noise and just being really loud, and so I uh, wanted to see how loud it is with this camera. So I'm off to my parents' house to pick up some packages and also get my oil changed. I know you can go to get your oil changed somewhere, but if I can save $10 changing it myself, why not? And uh, I at least know that it's done right. And uh, when I get back, uh, mom's gonna come over. She's bringing us some groceries uh, and wants to see baby Emma. So that'll be fun. I received a comment on last week's vlog that I should talk less and show more of what I'm doing. And uh, I do agree with that at some point. The person that um, wrote that comment um, removed it. And I think they may have realized that the vlogs are really just a little snippet of a project that happens in the week and the actual video comes out at some point of whatever I'm doing. So um, if you're upset with not seeing more physical hands-on stuff in a vlog, just wait a bit and you'll probably see the actual video. A nice uh, low light level test here on the G7X Mark II. So that was probably my fastest oil change to date. Uh, 15 minutes for the oil and the mass airflow sensor uh, cleaning. Just came inside and let's check out the packages that are for land a house here. Yeah, whoa, I know what that one is. Check valves. All right, so let's see here. I ordered uh, the vinyldisorder.com. It's a great place to get stickers. That's 250 stickers to go on the ram pumps, so you know what that is. 
Let's check out this box here. Ha. Okay, so just between you and me, the Cube 2360 that I got in the mail the other day, the Ultimate Edition, for some reason, one of the two lasers stopped working after just a couple of minutes. I'm not exactly sure why, so they sent me another one here um, to finish that review. So hopefully this one will work um, as well as it should. Uh, but anyway, so we'll get to that later. Aha! This is a tactical flashlight from a company called A Tactical that I'm going to be reviewing soon. Um, anyway, it's just a really cool flashlight there. Um, so anyway, we'll get to that later. I like flashlights a lot. Just stepped inside here where I've got the plane. Now, my friend gave me this plane and I've not really even touched it since she gave it to me. I don't know if it's sharp or flat. You can see it's got some uh, pitting in there where the rust is. Um, but I'm still going to attempt to use it here on the bookshelf that I made for Ashley. Uh, the reason I'm going to use it is for stuff like this. I assembled this quickly and shouldn't have, and now I've got to shave down this so that I can put trim on here. Um, once I master this whole bookshelf building thing, of course I will be uh, making a video or a video series on this um, project. So something to look forward to. Uh, before I get started on this, I wanted to mention a few thoughts on the Canon G7X Mark II as a vlogging camera. First of all, the video and audio quality are significantly better than the uh, GoPro that I've been using. This thing has been terrible. Uh, no, it, it messes up all the time. Either the battery stops working or the SD card has an error. The low light is horrendous, and then also the audio is just wretched. So anyway, GoPro is bad, is what I'm getting at. But the, um, the G7X is a little over twice the weight, and I'm gonna have to put a, a magnetic lens cover over it to keep it from getting dust into the lens. Um, that's not too bad. And then I have to put a, um, a protective plastic over the, the screen. Now, a lot of people do mention that there is an issue with focus, and that is true. Do you want to go out, puppy? Do you not want to be in here anymore? Oh, poor dear. You oh, poor, poor thing. Oh, you're quite dirty, aren't you? <laughs> uh, yeah, so there's an issue with focusing. Sometimes it'll focus on the background and not my face, which is irritating. Um, but I have found that when I go from like, this boop, to that, it's pretty quick. So that part of it is no problem at all. It's just a matter with um, keeping focus on the subject can be an issue. Um, and the last thing that I'm a little concerned about is that it's over twice the size of the GoPro. And I like to keep my GoPro here in this side pocket, which you can see fits the GoPro nicely. And so I'm a little bit concerned that um, you know, I have to have a case for this camera because I don't want to be scratching up a really expensive camera. And um, so that's just some negatives that I have thought about. All right, let's see what we get here. I don't expect this thing to be very sharp. Let me show you here what, Ashley's not gonna like that, is she? Where do you focus? Oh, maybe you have to touch. Ha, ha, ha. There you go. Okay, so yeah, it is working a little bit there. It's just slow. Now I'm gonna start by moving this OSB into position here. Now, as you can see, if I were to try and put my screws in here, 
it'd be difficult to get these lined up perfectly unless I either measured out from previous um, screw or from the edge of the board. And so now I'm going to be able to use this laser level to set a line down and I know exactly where my stud is going to be whenever I screw this in. I received a comment from someone who has been with the channel for a while and um, has always been very nice that they would um, appreciate more content videos instead of like reviews and uh, I agree but right now this is land the house <laughs> and so I do apologize for lack of content but we have to do what we have to do for uh, the time being. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this rather long vlog this week. I have, and uh, the camera has been great. I'm sorry. Um... <laughs> so that being said, uh, I will likely be getting a Canon G7X Mark II for the channel pretty soon. Thank you for watching. Be sure to comment below. I'm going to take this little girl for a walk around and see if I can calm her down some. And I will see you next week. Bye. Say bye, Emma.